The Bible said, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men, that they may search the land of Canaan, uh, which I give unto the children of Israel. Of every tribe of their fathers shall ye send a man, every one a ruler among them. And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, sent them from the wilderness of Paran, all those that were heads of the children of Israel. And these were their names of the tribe of Reuben, Shemua, uh, the son of Zachar, of the tribe of Simeon, Shaphat, the son of Horai, of the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, of the tribe of Issachar, Agal, the son of Joseph, of the tribe of Ephraim, Oshia, the son of Nun, now that's Joshua, another spelling for Joshua, of the tribe of Benjamin, Palti, the son of Raphu, of the tribe of Zebulun, Gadiel, the son of Sodai, of the tribe of Joseph, namely of the tribe of Manasseh, Gadi, the son of Susi, of the si- of this tribe of Dan, Amiel, the son of Gamali, of the tribe of Asher, Sether, the son of Michael, of the tribe of Naphtali, Nabi, the son of Vavsha, of the tribe of Gad, Geo, the son of Machi. These are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land. And the Moses and Moses called Oshea, the son of Nun. Jehoshua. That's all that I'm going to read. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you, God, today for this privilege. Our dear God, that it is to be gathered, our dear Lord, together in the house of God. And our Lord God, we know that our Lord, we see the world today going, our just going down. We see the world, our Lord, just getting worse every day. And worse than that, we see our Lord, the church that did claim and proclaim to be called. Our dear Lord by your name our God we see them getting worse our Lord we see them getting more worldly but God we're glad today that you said you've got a remnant and so God this morning I pray that you don't know me to preach and Lord the message that you have laid on my heart and God that the name of Christ I may be lifted up today and God we ask it all in the name that that is above every name. And Lord, the first one here today, I dear God, the child in sin, I dear Lord, that don't know ye, I God, we pray that you'd save them. I Lord, before it be everlasting, I too late. And we ask it in Jesus' name. And amen. Now, amen. Thank you for standing. Now, the Bible said, amen, that here that Moses I numbered the children of Israel, our brother of man out of, amen, every tribe, amen, to go over as a captain of them that went over had to spy out the land that God had promised Abraham, had to spy out the land that God had said, you're going to see one day and the Bible said they went over and friend, we all know the story, how that they got over in the land, amen the land of Canaan and brother amen every one of them but Joshua and Caleb they said boys and men they're too strong for us the men were grasshoppers brother in their side and the Bible said now I'm going to back up a minute amen one day that Moses stood and Moses had some men come against him and Moses looked at them uh, brother, when they when he come down off the mound, I uh, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, uh, Moses went up, uh, uh, brother, to get the commandments, uh, and they came back down, uh, and he found that all uh, had been given over to idolatry. Uh, uh, they worshipped a golden calf, uh, and they're all naked. Uh, uh, brother, I want to tell you, friend, uh, it matters how you live. Uh, it still matters how you dress. Uh, it still matters how you talk. Uh, it still matters, uh, brother, where you go and where you don't. Uh, but the Bible said uh, that Moses told them, uh, he said, Aaron, uh, what have you done? Uh, and Aaron said, uh, we took the earrings uh, and we took all the gold uh, and we threw it in the fire. Uh, 
And this calf came out. And Aaron said, Lord Moses, they asked me to do it. And I did it for them. But Aaron was just as guilty. Brother Aaron, I took the engraving tool. And Brother he engraved. Amen. Pounded him out. A golden calf. And the Bible said that Moses looked at him. He said, I'm drawing a line. A brother in the sand. And he said, Whoever is on the Lord's side, I get over here with me. I'm a friend I want to preach. By the help of the Lord today. Amen. As I am on the Lord's side. That's my thought today. I'm on the Lord's side. And now the Bible said, Amen, that there's a remnant and that God had given us a very small remnant. It said, Except and that the Lord of Sabaoth had given us a remnant. We'd been like Sodom and we'd been like Gomorrah. That's about the way it is now. Men with men, women with women. But ain't you glad today that the Lord is on your side? Ain't you glad today that you're on the Lord's side? My friend, let me remind you and let me tell you today what God told me to preach on and what God told me to remind you don't be weary in well doing. You ain't the only one that's a living right. God still got somebody, a brother on his side. God still got somebody that's a holding up the blood stained banner. My brother, I want to tell you. It ain't everybody that carries a Bible that's really saved. But God still got a remnant. God still got a remnant. God still got a remnant. And brother God told me, don't be weary. Don't be weary. Brother, I'm glad that God is on my side. Amen. Amen. I'm glad the Lord is on my side. Amen. I'm glad the Lord. Amen. The Lord ain't on the side of all these lukewarm. Amen. And the Lord ain't on the side of all these false. Amen, prophets. And the Lord ain't on their side. But brother, one day God, when he saved my soul, he drew a line in the sand and he said, get on my side. And brother, I'm glad I'm on the wind and side. Amen, that old song said, amen, once I was in sin and my soul was burning down. Amen, no hope and no peace. But my Savior came down and told me I was wrong. And now I can say, I'm on the winning side. Yes, I'm on the winning side. I'm on the winning side. I no more in sin. I will I abide. I've enlisted in the fight for the cause of truth and right. Praise God. I'm on the winning side. I'm glad today that when the battle is over, when it's over with, we're going to stand victorious. Hallelujah. We've got a champion that's done one the war today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm glad I'm on his side. Amen. I'm glad I'm on his side. Uh, when he saved me, he put me on his side. Amen. Y'all remember old Elijah. How the Bible said that Elijah, amen, he got up there in the mountain. I got down there in the cave. He said, God, I'm the only one. Ain't nobody left around. Ain't nobody left. Ain't nobody left. Amen. Oh, my brother, I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel like that sometimes. Amen. I'm glad today. Amen. That I got. Amen. Got the phone call. Amen. That somebody still wants the truth. Amen. Here at Valley View, 
I want to tell all you that's visiting us, and man, we've had, and man, we went from just nobody, our brother, to having a house full, and now half of them's left. They don't want the truth. Amen, that's all you can say. I preach we left because of this. That ain't why you left. You don't want the truth. I brother, the Bible, I'm gonna tell you God, he don't take you away from the truth. He don't take you away from it. I'm my brother, the Bible said, I'm to buy the truth and sell it not. I've got something in an earthen vessel. I've got a treasure. I'm brother, I'm holding on. I'm to what I've got today. I'm for the Lord. He is on my side. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is my, he's my, he's my deliverer. The Lord is my helper. Now I'll not fear how what man shall do unto me. Amen, the best thing you can do. Amen, I know it's hard for Brother Matt. Amen, going to, amen, going to public school. I'm trying to be a man of God. I'm trying to stand for what's right. But when nobody's on your side, I'm Brother Madden, it feels like I bet you're all alone. There's a God in heaven. Amen, that said, I'll be with you. There's a God in heaven that said, you ain't forgot about. Most people today, they forgot about clean living. They forgot about holiness. But Brother, the Bible said that without holiness, I know Oh man, I shall see the Lord. I, brother, I'm glad I, that one day I got on. I, the wind inside. I'm on the Lord's side. I'm on the Lord's side. I wonder if anybody I, I will stand up to the world and say I'm not on your side. I, but I am on the Lord's. I, I'm on the Lord's. I'm on the Lord's. I'm glad today. I'm on His side. Amen. Praise God. We're on the winning side, Billy. We're on the winning side, Nathan. Amen. We're on the winning side, J.M. Amen. I don't get mad at him because I didn't mention your name. Amen. People are so petty. Amen. I believe we're all on the winning side, most of us. They come here to church all the time. Amen. Not everybody is. That's why they can't be faithful. That's why they come one Sunday. I can't come back after two weeks. They're not on the winning side. And I know sickness. It's one thing of sickness. And now that you know what the devil just told me. Amen. Now somebody's going to think you're stolen at him. And friend, I know you think that. But amen, I didn't think a thing about you. Now when I was saying Amen. Amen. Somebody come to my attention. Amen. That some of our, that somebody said, I feel like that, that Robbie was a throwing that at me. Now let me remind, let me tell you today, I don't get up here with nobody on my mind, but I preach what God gives me. And brother, if it's the truth, and if it hits you, you'll have to move up or just get cold and dry up on God. But brother, when we're on the Lord's side, I believe we want to be holy and we want to draw nigh to God. Uh, brother, it don't matter uh, what the world throws at you. If you're on the Lord's side, you're a winner in the year. <laughs> Praise God. We got a generation of babies. Uh, don't we? I spend half my time trying to tell people that, hey amen, you're going to have to get over that. Yeah. They didn't mean to offend you. I would come in here and hand out pacifiers. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Hey Amen. I would come in here and hand out pacifiers. Hey Amen. That's the way it is as a pastor. Oh, hey Amen. My, I my, my, would have my mind on preaching the Bible. Hey Amen. But a lot of times we can't. I'm going to tell everybody that's here today. We're on the same side if we're saved. There ain't no sense in fighting. Ain't no sense in warring. One with another. But we're on the Lord's side. 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 And brother, the world is getting worse every day. But oh, just hold on. Hold on to God. He'll hold on to you. And in the end, you'll be glad. You're on the Lord's side. Amen. 
We ain't the only ones. As I got somebody with me. And if everybody forsakes the good way, if everybody forsakes the good way, any man that ain't but, if it ain't just but me, I've still got somebody with me. I've still got somebody with me. I've still got somebody with me. Amen. The Bible said that Elijah, I said, I'm the only one, God. Amen. Jezebel's killed all the prophets. Jezebel's killed all the men of God. Amen. That's about what's happened today. They're still walking around in a body. But they're dead. They're dead. Brother, we've got to get a hold. Amen. We've got to get, we've got to pray down. That's something that'll get a hold of our children. I'm the first Baptist of the world. They're going to get a hold of them and tell them everything's all right. Amen. Amen. And it ain't in denomination. Amen. A lot of the free will Baptists and they're going to get a hold of them and tell them everything's all right. But the true church and the real church is on the Lord's side. It don't matter what the name is above the door. It don't matter. Brother, what the denomination, ain't no denomination in God no way. Brother, there's only there ain't no Greek there ain't no Jew there ain't no bond and there ain't no free there's just children of God and brother I'm so glad to say I'm on the Lord's side I'm so glad to say I'm on the Lord's side I'm so glad that God is on my side Amen Praise the Lord Amen I'm the only one I just said I'm the only one that ought to encourage you, Valley View. Amen. That people desire the truth. It ought to encourage you that people desire the truth. When the devil's told you, when the devil's told you, amen, and, amen, you ain't got to live the way he preaches. Devil never told you that. It ain't the one I preach. It's what this Bible says. Amen. It's what this Bible says. And friend, uh, you remember when people knew they saved and people knew if they was lost, it ain't like that no more. Uh, because ain't nobody preaching it right. Uh, and there's nobody uh, standing in the gap. Uh, God said, I look for one man. Uh, I sought for one man among a thousand uh, that might stand uh, and take up the hedge uh, and stand in the gap. Uh, God couldn't find one man. Uh, but oh, there's a few men. Uh, there's a few uh, old times saints of God and still want the old time way and brother I'm glad today that I am on the Lord's side Amen. Amen He knocked at my heart and I let him in and since that day oh my goodness since that day he's been the dearest friend that I've ever had Amen. He's been the dearest friend that I could ever ask for. Amen. He saved my soul. He makes me glad. The dearest friend, amen, that I ever had. Amen. You know why? Amen. He died for me. He put me in this way. He's given me his spirit down inside of my soul. Amen. To lead me and guide me. And brother, when it's all over, I'll be glad to say that I'm on the Lord's side. When I come down to die, I, I, these words I hope they're coming out of my mouth I fall a good fight I finish my course I've kept the faith henceforth I've got laid up in store for me a crown of righteousness I wish the Lord of the righteous judge I shall give to me at that day and Paul said I'm not to me only but to all them that love his appearing when we get to live uh, forever uh, in a land of bliss we'll be glad we're on the Lord's side yeah. amen. Amen. amen I'm the only one God that's what Elijah felt like I felt like it ain't you I felt like it yeah. I'm the only one I'm the only one you felt like it I know I know people here have I know y'all have you feel like you're the only one. Amen. Oh, it might get down to where there's a few here and a few there. But I read about a woman, amen, by the name of Ruth. 
And the Bible said that her, amen, the Naomi, had left out the land of Israel. And brother, she went down the land. A brother of Moab. Amen. She married her husband. Amen. She took her boys down there. And they married wives. Amen. Her and her husband went and took the boys. And they took wives of the land of Moab. And the Bible, the Bible said one by the name of Ruth. And one by the name of Orpha. Amen. And Naomi's husband dies. Her sons are dead. And Naomi said, I'm going back home. Amen. And old. Amen. Ruth and Orpha. I said, We're going with you. And Naomi turned around. And she said, And now here's the way most are. And the Bible said that a man had come to Jesus one day and said, Lord, I let me go bury my dead. And I'll follow you. He said, Let the dead I bury the dead. I take up thy cross and follow after me. And well, Naomi said, Now you ain't going to stay with me. I'm old. I can't give you no boys. And if I could, I would you wait until they're grown. And the old Orpha said, I'm going back home. But there was a young lady by the name of Ruth that said, I'm not going home. I'm a cleaving unto you. She grabbed a hold of Naomi that day. I'd brother, I'm going to hold of something that is going to take me beyond this veil of tears. I'm glad I'm going to a land where the soul of man shall never, never die. You know why? I'm on the Lord's side. I'm on the Lord's side. Amen. And Ruth said, I ain't going home. I'm going where you go. Your God's going to be my God. My people are going to be your people. And she got down. Her brother. And the Bible said, and she went out in the field to glean. And she got out in the field. Amen. And as she is a gleaning. And a man by the name of Boaz. He said, who is that young woman? Amen. They said, that's, that's Naomi's daughter-in-law. He said, well, yeah, well they're my next to kinsmen. Amen. He said, I'll tell you what to do. Now, when that young lady comes, now you go over there. Now you throw out a little bit here. And you throw out a little bit there. How you give her a handful of purpose. Amen. Let her glean in the field. And the Bible said she came home. And Naomi said, Oh, Ruth, whose field have you been gleaning in? I word you get your basket I, brother I want to leave church today I with my basket full I want to leave church today I with my cup running over and Ruth said I've been in the field of Boaz I've been down there in his field and Naomi said he's our next kinsman I'll tell you what to do I go down yonder I lay at the foot of his bed amen and just tell and just see what he says and the Bible said that Boaz I was down there in his bedchamber and he said now he said Ruth what do you desire and she said you're my, you're my mother-in-law and my mother-in-law's next to kinsman and my husband's dead her husband's dead amen and I'm, I'm a widow all alone he said there's one man there's one man that's closer to me closer to her than I am and if he wants you then he's got to thank you. Amen. He said, no, I don't want her. And the Bible said that old Boaz took Ruth to be his wife. Amen. But while Ruth was out there in the field, amen, I wonder if she thought I'll never be able to get a basket full. I'll never be able to find enough. Amen. But God said, here's a little bit here. Here's a little bit there. Amen. God still got a remnant. God still got a remnant. God still got a remnant. God still got a few. Amen. I know you can find a church, a brother, on every corner. I'll tell you, just be baptized. I put your name on the roll, and you'll be all right. But God still got a few men that are saying, if you don't live right, you ain't gonna die right. And if you don't die right, you ain't gonna get up right. My brother, what I got, it's good enough to live by. I'm more than that. It's good enough to die by. When I die, I'm glad I'll be on the Lord's side. Amen. Amen. 
God showed me this this morning. I've never really thought about it much. But y'all remember what I'm about done. I wonder if Moses thought, is anybody, is anybody got enough courage to be on the Lord's side? He drew the line and said, y'all, that's on the Lord's side, get over here. And then one day, Korah come against him. And he said, get away from Korah and then. If you don't want your people, amen, if you don't want, amen. Now we've got to try to win the world, I know that. Amen. But we've got to be careful who our youngins go home with. Amen. Amen. If you don't want them being like him, don't send them home with them. Oh, I've heard people say, the Bible said not to marry somebody ain't a Christian. Ain't you what about? Don't be unequally yoked. So many people that get in there, they say, Well, I don't know why my husband went astray. You shouldn't have married him to begin with. Right. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you don't go to church, then don't, if they don't go to church, don't marry them. Amen. Now, amen. Now, JM, that's why somebody ain't here today. That's why, that's why one of our members is a member here. A member here. That's why, amen. If somebody don't go to church and can't go to church on Wednesday night, amen, they ought not be getting married to somebody. Amen. They ain't going to Christian. I'm telling you, friend, when you get right with God, you'll want to be in the Lord. Say, Preacher, you're just a meddling. I'm telling you the truth, and everybody knows it. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Send her to her and let, me, and let her ask me. I'll tell her she married somebody she shouldn't have married. Praise the Lord. I'm glad I didn't do it. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you ain't never been, I don't care how much Bible you know, if there ain't a place when you got, when you got saved, you're not a Christian. It's a born again thing. You know, you know, you don't work at it and try to get better and try to learn it. That's why people can't take sound doctrine. I preach something real strict. Everybody's ready to leave except for you that's on the Lord's side. You say, I'm on the Lord's side. I'm gonna be here till the Lord comes. Brother, if we're on the Lord's side, we'll endure sound doctrine. Amen. Praise the Lord, preacher. Amen. You're preaching it right. Amen. I'm not meddling. Amen. I'm not gossiping. I'm just telling the truth. I'm glad I'm on the Lord's side. It ain't me that I don't think that either. I know why they don't come. How many times have I heard that? I know why they don't come no more. You know how many people in this church told me that? Amen. It's because of him. Amen. Well, I don't know. You can get mad at me if you want to. Amen. You ain't never going to win them, preacher, by, by, by doing that. You ain't never going to win them by telling me all right either. Amen. Brother, there was a day. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jerry told a story last night. I don't know if, I, I don't know if any of y'all knew who he's talking about. But the pastor that looked at that man, I've heard this story a bunch. Amen. The pastor looked at that man that ran into the wall and knocked himself out cold. Amen. Wonder who was that man? Clyde Hicks said that. Amen. Amen. I've heard. Amen. I've heard. Amen. Some of you that come here you used to sit under Clyde. And I never met Clyde. I mean, I never did hear him preach. But I've learned enough about him. I don't know that he was a man. I that said, I'm on the Lord's side. I don't know that he was a man. I said, I'm going to be with God till the day that I die. Yeah. <sighs> Praise the Lord. Praise I'm not glorifying a man today. But somebody needs to make up their mind and say, I'm going to be on the Lord's side. Yeah. Hey, aren't you? Yeah. Ain't you glad God's on your side? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Boy, I am. Elijah said, I know I was going to say all that. Elijah said, I'm glad I did. Bless you, Jennifer. Bless you, Jennifer. Praise the Lord. I want to God some more people to obey God. Amen. That's what we need right here. Amen. I'm tired of dried up meetings. I'm tired of dead services. If somebody obey God, it's untailing what God would do. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. I say, Amen. And while I was praying, and somebody touched me. And while I was praying, and somebody touched me. While I was preaching, and somebody touched me. Who was it? It must have been the hand of the Lord. Praise God. 
He'd do more yeah. if you good to do that right there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. She's letting the worst. She's letting everybody, letting everybody in here know. I know whose side I'm on. <laughs> My goodness. Ain't it good to be a Christian? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Elijah said, I'm all by myself. But God said, Elijah, Elijah. Now, Elijah just seen the whirlwind. Elijah just seen the fire. Elijah just seen all these great things. And God wasn't in that. But God was in a small, still, still small voice. Amen. And the Bible said, Amen, that Elijah, Amen. He said, God, I'm the only one left. I'm the only one left. Amen. Now, Amen. Here. Amen. I'm not, he said, I'm not, ain't nobody, there ain't nobody left that's doing what's right. But God looked at Elijah. He said, you're wrong, buddy. Ain't nobody left that's wanting to praise God, the devil says. That's a lie, ain't it? Yeah. If Matt hadn't obeyed God and seen that down there at Hillcrest, and, and, and God, you know what this was? You remember when Matt had a handkerchief anointed for his people? And he took it right back here. Amen. I, Matt's got a burden for his people, and I appreciate it. And he took it back there, and he took a stick pen, and he put it above. He put it up here on the lintel of this door. Amen. Then we was down there. Brother Charlie and Dwayne was holding that revival at Hillcrest, and God was a blessing down there so much. And they had one of them right there. And Matt, Matt took this handkerchief up here and wrote "Victory in Jesus" on it, and put it up there on that table, just hoping somebody would obey God. Amen. God bless you, Matt. Praise the Lord. What you do for God, it's not in vain. If God tells you to do it, then praise God, you better do it. Amen. Maybe you'll get victory if you'll obey God. If you'll, amen, swallow your dignity, swallow your pride. That's our problem now. How the world we ought to how the world tells us how to worship. How but amen. How them old sainted mothers, how they shouted the praises of God. They weren't worried about what you thought. Amen. Somebody said that ass just for show. They didn't care if you thought that or not. He's gonna praise God anyway. Hallelujah. I'm glad somebody is on the Lord's side. Glory to God. Amen. I'm the only one. I'm trying to close. He said, I'm the only one. God said, Elijah, there's 7,000 men that ain't bowed the knee to Baal. Ain't you glad somebody's left? Ain't you glad there's somebody left? Hallelujah. I'm glad there's somebody left. The Bible said that Joshua was down there. Amen. Now, I'm trying to close. I've got to get Amen here. Amen. You remember when Joseph was about to die? Amen. God, God took Joseph. Amen. And made two tribes out of him. Ephraim and Manasseh. Amen. Manasseh was the eldest, wasn't he? Just like Jacob was the youngest and Esau the eldest. And Joseph, amen, brought them in there to be blessed of Jacob. I wonder if Jacob remembered when his daddy gave him the blessing. And the Bible said that Manasseh, amen, Manasseh, that God put, or Joseph put Manasseh over on his left side, on the right side, on the hand of the right side, amen, of Jacob. Because he knew that Manasseh was the eldest. And he took Ephraim and put him on his right side, which was on the left side of Jacob, because he knew that Ephraim was the youngest. And that the blessed, who's the blessing go to? The eldest, right? Amen. But you know what old Jacob did? He went like this right here. And he laid his right hand on Ephraim and Joseph said what are you doing daddy Manasseh's the eldest he said I know what I'm doing amen I'm a, a Joseph amen Ephraim's gonna be the one that's blessed and brother I read on down through there and do you know the tribe that Joshua came out of he came out of Ephraim and God raised up a man and when nobody else would and that said we're able we're able we're able how do you know what Joshua and Caleb said and that we're able they said God ain't with them but God is on our side we're able for God is on our side God's on our side he's on the side of them that's preaching the truth he's on the side of them 
I, I seen where a man, that same man that went to that adultery, amen, or abortion thing, rally, he went to a LGBTQ church. A church. Amen. With a woman pastor. That's the first problem. Went to a church. Amen. And the Bible said, Amen. Or the Bible said that, Amen, we ought to run from that stuff and flee at idolatry and flee fornication and, Amen, come out from among the world. But that man got down there and he, he said, What do y'all believe about the Bible? She said, There's many ways to interpret the Bible. I was sitting there thinking, Won't you tell her what Peter said? Amen. No scripture is, any, is of any private interpretation. You may say it one way, but if it ain't what God says, it's wrong. I may say it one way, but if it ain't how God says it, it's wrong. This Bible's right. It's the same for me as it is for you. And brother, if we're on the Lord's side, we'll live by this Bible. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm glad I'm on the Lord's side, ain't you? Amen. Every church ain't on the Lord's side. Amen. You ain't got to go far from Valley View to find somebody that tells you everything's all right. Yeah. They preach to many a drunk into heaven. Yeah. They think they have. Yeah. They think they have. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Why he got saved when he's a little boy? Ain't that the most foolish thing you've yeah. ever heard in your life? Yeah. The Bible said a drunkard. Amen. If you believe that. Open up there to where it said, the, the un, therefore, the, don't know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Take that page and tear it right out of your Bible. Because yeah. if, you if you ain't going to take it, then don't read it. If you ain't going to believe it, if, you're, if you die a drunkard, I don't care how long you pastored, I don't care how long you preached, I don't care how long you've been a deacon, if you die in sin, you're raised in sin. Amen. This thing is, this thing is real. It's real. And I'm going to be glad when I die that I'm on the Lord's side. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God for being on the right side. That old thief one day. You ever heard that song? Amen. It said, they say, the thief on the right side. Well, that ain't in the Bible. Amen. But he was on the right side, all right. Versus the wrong side. The Bible said Jesus was crucified. Hung in between two thieves. Amen. Numbered amongst the transgressors. That's what Isaiah said would happen. And there he was, all alone. All, the Father in heaven even turned his back. On him. Because I, amen. And I know everybody says it's because he couldn't look at sin. I'd say that's right. Amen. But he said, My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? The two thieves railed on him, Brother Earl. And one looked over and said, What are you saying? Me and you deserve what we're getting. But this man right here, now both of them railed on him at first. You'll read that in the other Gospels. Both of them did. But then that one on that one side said, What are you doing? This man ain't done nothing wrong. Pilate said, Amen. Amen. He said, What do you want me to do with Jesus? He said, Here's Barabbas. Pilate just knew. Amen. As you're going to release, I'm going to release Jesus. I mean, Barabbas was a murderer. I Barabbas was a murderer. I but they said, Give us Barabbas. I, what do you want us to do with Christ? I, what do you want us to do I, with the King of the Jews? I, they said, Crucify him. I crucify him. I crucify him. He would have gone, got those brown all alone and that he might bring me into the fold and get me on the Lord's side. Yeah. Amen. That man, he said, this man ain't done nothing wrong. Would you remember me? When you come? I'm glad he remembers me. Would you remember me? Amen. I may forget about you. I may forget your name. Amen. I see so many people I can't, amen, I can't, people come to work all the time and I can't remember their name. Amen, but God ain't gonna forget about you. Brother, I know I've been in service with you. I can't remember your name saved my life. Amen. But God knows who he is. And God knows who I am. And God knows who, amen, I'm glad he remembers me. I'm glad he remembers me. I'm glad he remembers me. I'm glad I'm on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. You ain't by yourself. When you go to bed at night, J.M., and you feel like your family don't want nothing to do with church, a lot of them don't. And you, Lazarus, at the house, would give anything to be here. 
And Jane, when you go to bed at night and you feel like your grandkids are going to die and go to hell, you just remember you got somebody on your side. A man that died for them. And if they'll come to God, God won't cast them out. Every head bowed and every eye closed just for a few minutes today. I'm glad I'm on the Lord's side.